Welcome to week 18 of Kumi Now, as we focus our attention on the free speech rights of Palestinians and activists for Palestine. When dissent and the truth are oppressed, the best response is to shout your dissent louder and share the truth widely. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube have cooperated in allowing the Israeli government to monitor and censor online Palestinian content. This censorship has limited the ability of human rights activists and organizations to speak openly and legally under international law. And of course, there is no similar agreement allowing Palestine to monitor and censor Israeli individuals and organizations. As such, pledge to share at least one piece of well-written, eye-opening Palestinian reporting or one of the articles or reports listed in the additional resources section of this entry on the website, each day this week. If you are unsure as to which news organizations routinely produce legitimate journalism for Palestinian journalists, you can start with any of the news organizations listed here. Links are below the video. And of course, you can subscribe to and share our podcast, On the Ground for Palestine. It is available on YouTube, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. Links are below the video. When you share these articles and sources across your social networks, include a link to this page of the Kumi Now website, along with the hashtags Kumi Now and Kumi18. Thank you for being a part of Kumi Now, and we are excited about working with you throughout the year and however long it takes for justice to come to Palestine. You can join us and learn more at kuminow.com and find us on social media by searching for Kumi Now on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. And make sure you're registered for the newsletter to get your weekly dose of activism for Palestine and other information by going to kuminow.com slash register. Together, we can rise up in nonviolence for justice and peace in Palestine, Israel, and around the world.